Chief Justice Sophia Khufu has described the non-existing custodial sentencing policy as heartbreaking and called for the introduction of a policy for minor offenses to help decongest prisons across the country. She was speaking at the multi-stakeholders conference on the non-custodial sentencing policy zero draft bill in Accra. Non-custodial sentencing by a court of law does not involve seven time in prison but may include a fine, a restriction order, probation order or community service order. For over a decade, stakeholders in the criminal justice system and other international organizations have been meeting to fashion out ways to implement the non-custodial penal code. The Chief Justice Sophia Ekufu insists the application of alternative sentencing, which is the surest way to decongest the prisons, is long overdue. She said the approval of non-custodial sentencing policy will help to decongest prisons nationwide, improve prison conditions to meet international standards and best practices. Higher type of sentences should be reserved for serious or aggravated offenses, such as um, you know, murder, robbery, and galamse, uh, and so on and so forth. <laughs> the existing sentencing regime under the Criminal and Other Offenses Procedure Act, uh, which we normally call Act 30, does not provide for non-custodial sentencing. The Deputy Commissioner of the Commission of Human Rights and Administrative Justice, Shraj Richard Quayson, expressed concern over the delay in approving the non-custodial sentencing policy bill and stressed the need for it to be passed to ease pressures on existing prison facilities. More and more offenses are being criminalized, and prison sentences are increasing on account of tough, uncrime approaches. The story of what has happened to some people in prison is not something that is isolated. It is something that has become the reality for us. And I hope that this meeting will not end the way previous meetings ended. Denmark's ambassador to Ghana, Tov Dengwo. It is our view that every individual should be equal before the law and that the state must respect this fundamental uh, value in democracy. The state has the responsibility to guarantee people's rights, including fair trial, trial for all and rehabilitation and reform of convicts.